All American Prepper coming at you from the bunker. I want to talk to you about knife defense. I got a bunch of great videos. You just go to my video list, scroll down. Got some good knife training videos. It seems lately I've been having a lot of people coming at me with knives lately, working as a bouncer. I am a contractor. But when I'm at home, you know, I work as a bouncer. And when you come in a club that I'm bouncing, you're coming in my house. And I have a lot of people, and it's happening more frequently, come at me with a knife. Now, I recommend you look at the videos. But at least, if someone comes at you with a knife, turn your arms this away. Deflect that knife. So what if you get cut here? That's no big deal. I've been cut here quite a bit. I've had people literally try to kill me with a knife. And because I'm able to make this video, that's proof that the knife training that I take and I teach works. It's basically the fundamentals of boxing. If, if you learn the basics of boxing, I can teach you how to be a really good knife fighter and to be good at defending a knife attack until you can get to your sidearm. Now, as a bouncer, I, I don't carry no firearm. I carry maze and a taser. You know, I, I carry what I'm allowed to carry. When someone's trying to attack you with a knife, and it happens a lot. Turn your arms this way. It's no, no big deal to get cut here. It's a big deal to get cut here. Don't try to reach out and grab that knife because they're just going to yank it back and cut your fingers. And when they cut those tendons, your fingers are going to be useless. So you really need to learn how to defend against a knife attack. And there's a lot of people say, oh, somebody comes at me with a knife, I'm just going to drop them. Good luck with that. I have had a lot of people come at me with blades, and almost every time I got cut. Now, the very fact that I'm here making this video is proof that my knife fighting and knife defense system works. Okay, now they sell these online, you just put them over your arms. They're slash resistant. You can stab through them, but they'll stop a good slash. You know, I, after getting cut several times, I just wear these at work now, working as a bouncer. And, you know, riding my motorcycle, putting up sliding down the road, it gives me a little slide time. They're just good to have. But I strongly recommend that you learn the basics of at least knife defense. Somebody gets close and comes at you with a blade, you may have to deflect, defect, deflect that blade. I don't do retakes. I just make them and post them. And uh, if you got to take a cut, so what? It, like I said, it's no big deal getting cut here. It's flesh, it heals. Sure, you'll get a few stitches. Carry a tourniquet, okay? Because if you get cut on the inside of your arm and some quick clot, carry that. Uh, Refuse Medical, they sell the best. Not affiliated. They sell the best tourniquets and equipment. I strongly recommend it if someone's coming at you with a blade, if you can, get out of that situation. Run. 
But working as a bouncer, I don't have that luxury. I have to stand my ground. And these help a lot. But most people, they're not, just not going to wear those around all the time. So, and it's just dangerous out there. Just walking inside of Walmart, walking out of Walmart, pumping your gas. Man, next thing you know, you got somebody coming at you with a knife. And sure, you, you, you may be carrying a gun, but that knife attack usually comes out of nowhere. You're going to have to deflect that knife attack to get to your sidearm or to get to your knife. And like I said again, and I'm going to repeat it, getting cut here is no big deal. I'll, I'll make a video. I, I will literally cut myself really good and sew it up. It's no big deal. You're not going to die. That's the whole point of this video, trying to keep you alive. If you get cut on the inside of your arms, that's a big deal. That's why you always carry a tourniquet. Have your wife carry a knife and teach her how to use it. You know, who's a knife expert? Even a four-year-old kid knows how to cut a steak. So don't be arrogant and, and cocky. You know, and say, oh, somebody comes to me with a knife, I'm just going to drop them. It really don't work like that. If they're up close, you, well, I've always gotten cut. Now, if you're so good, if you're a ninja, you know, if you're just a total badass, and you don't get cut, and you can drop them, well, good for you. Almost every time somebody has come up with me with a knife, I have gotten cut. So at least block that knife like this. Be mentally prepared to get cut. It's no big deal. You can sew that up. You can go to the hospital and sew it up. My wife sews me up quite often. Like I said, I've been cut so many times. It's, it's it, really it's just another day at the office for me you know when I'm working as a bouncer that's usually when it happens when you're out at these clubs you better hope they got security like me because if you're not acting stupid if you're behaving you know, I'm going to protect you no matter what but if you come at me with a knife it, it's going to, I'm going to hurt you bad. I would rather not. I really don't want to hurt anyone. Again, that's my job. But just look down my video list. There's a lot. I have a great instructor. He's a true professional knife fighter. And there's videos there's a lot of videos, but there's some that's just the basics of defending against a knife. But if you don't get anything out of this video besides that, turn your arms this way, take the cut here until you can get to your sidearm or your knife. You really don't want to get in a knife fight because you are going to get cut and you're probably going to end up going to jail either way. But still, you know, unarmed and helpless is unarmed and helpless. And I will never understand that. You know, I will not let my wife walk out this door without a knife. I recommend a fixed bladed knife. That way you don't have to take it out, open it, and then use it. Fixed bladed knife, there's no thinking. Especially if you're trained, you just got your knife and you do what you got to do. You know, everybody has a knife. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, like little Miss Prepper said, you know, everybody's got a kitchen knife. A lot of these guys, they're not carrying guns and all, and sometimes I bounce biker bars, but it doesn't matter where I bounce at, you know. 
everybody's carrying a knife nowadays and people are getting crazy and it's just just getting dangerous so I suggest you just get the hell out of there if somebody comes at you with a knife sometimes you can't if you get backed up against your car you know and you can't run for whatever reason take the cuts here like I said, it's no big deal. I'll make a video. I will cut the hell out of myself and I'll sew it up. And it's just another day for me. Some people, they might freak out. Oh, shit, I've been cut. Me, I'm just like, oh, damn, I've been cut. Carry a tourniquet. Carry quick clot. My wife never leaves this home without a knife and a tourniquet. I never leave without a knife and a tourniquet. I just want to throw it out there, you know, especially if you're going to work security, you are going to encounter knives. Working as a bouncer, bouncer, you are eventually going to get knife attacks. Take the cuts here. Then follow through with your training try to get out of that situation but there is times that you will have to fight or you will die and me being able to make this video is living proof that my system works the way I was taught it's basically a boxing stance and and you'll survive that knife attack you carry a tourniquet if someone else gets cut, you may need to tourniquet them till the paramedics get there to keep from them bleeding to death because people bleed to death really quick. The life you save may be your own. I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring this up because I had somebody come at me with a knife last night. I got lucky because I had these on. If I didn't have these on, I would have got cut. And I dealt with it, and he's in jail, and I'm alive. It's the All-American Prepper. Stay strapped, stay ready, stay dangerous, and have a blessed day.